and welcome to the Patastic Cats channel. I'm Ruby and today we are going to make tinted mason jars. Pour some Mod Podge into any container of your choice. The amount of Mod Podge depends on the area you want to cover. Add any food coloring of your choice into the Mod Podge. We use the McCormick food coloring. Add a minimum of 10 drops of food coloring. Add more drops of food coloring if you want a darker color. Mix the food coloring in the Mod Podge well. The mixture should be thin enough to pour easily. If your mixture is too thick, add some water to thin it. If it's too thin, add some Mod Podge to make it a little more thick. Pour some extra fine glitter into each cup. It well. With a paintbrush, cover the inside of the mason jar with a thin layer of the mixture. Make sure you cover all nooks and corners and leave no gaps in the paint. We decided to use an ombre tinted effect. We covered the top and bottom of the mason jar in different colors. The blue and yellow together made it beautiful and summery. When done, put the jars upside down to drip the extra paint. Place the jars upside down on a baking sheet like this. Heat the oven to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Put the mason jars upside down in the hot oven for 10 minutes. Turn them over and heat them for another 20 minutes. The tinted effect will start showing when the Mod Podge dries out. This is how our jars turned out. The areas where the paint was thick did not turn out nice. So make sure you apply a thin layer of paint. We decide to decorate them with glittered ribbon. Thank you for watching. Bye.